What's good? What's good, YouTube family? T. Gilly here, with, back with another home and car review. Guys, um, you know, I was kind of bored, and I just came out the house and um, decided to take this beautiful piece of machinery here for a test drive. This right here is your BMW GT 550i. Got your dual exhaust on the back. Cream interior, guys. For those who love the light interior. You got your cream and black. A nice coffee wood grain panel. The rims are not bad. These are your 19-inch um, um, edition, 245-40-19s. And I have a full sunroof, as you see, guys. I have a split in the middle. I like that. Well, let's just say my car. I don't know, I, I like these um, armrests, the ones that got like the split and it's open on both sides. I like that. Make sure you guys get like a full view of this. Switch around. Check and see what it got underneath the hood. Twin turbo. As a matter of fact, I didn't do my specs on this car before I even touch driving. And that shame on me. Can we use them on my A game? Like I said guys, I like it. This um nice machinery though. Beautiful piece of machine. And this is your egg drop theory too as well. Um, if you pay attention to your gearing, you're parking at this button right here. So I had to figure it out. Well, not really figure it out, but when I was driving when I, you know, I'm used to driving the American cars and certain vehicles. So it's like, you know, you have to figure it out while you're driving. D, well, if you want to go and drive, you put, you know your foot to the brakes unlock is right here and you go down and you want to drive unlock again go up you're in neutral if you go up again you're in reverse now you come over to the side it's like a gearing now you're in the um, manual stick mode that's your plus that's your minus. It's just like, you know, just like you race in a car, you know, when you shift it into the side, then you put it in your sports little settings and all that. And put it back over. Put it in neutral. Park. You got all kinds of specs and details here. It lets you know your engine compartment hot. Come on, it's a little bit hot. Let the engine cool down before opening it up. Oh, that's pretty neat. Let you tell you, it tell you all that stuff. Like, it lets you know everything. Like your your components and fluid is hot. Let the engine cool down before opening the hood. Use caution when opening. That's pretty neat. I like that. <laughs> like I said, this is the GT series as well. As a matter of fact, I was supposed to be like Googling the horsepower and all that stuff. Let me see something here. 550i GT. Okay, from my understanding, guys, this right here is a 4.4 liter V8 with 445 horsepower. 
And curb weight is right at 5,000 pounds. This is a heavy SUV. Wow. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. And if, anyone you, if, if, if when any one of you guys ever think about buying one, this is your trunk release down here. Open it. Now the trunk is not automatic. It, and it is pretty small. This is pretty small. You might be able to get like a golf club. What do we call the golf clubs? Maybe like one or two sets inside here. It's very small. Got your little light fixed in there. Yeah, I just think you have the little speakers on the doorway too. I don't know exactly how many speakers they have. I didn't pull up all the specs. For those who are interested in it, maybe I wanna, you know, drop some comments down below and let me know. But we're gonna take a photo of real quick. Show you that you, show you that your boy is a pro. Oh yeah, one more thing. When you when you close the door, you do not have to shut the door. Like close it real hard. You can slightly just like, like and the window go up and everything. I don't know if y'all see that. When you open the door, the window goes slightly down, and when you just bring it right here, it goes up. So the door is pulled tight, and the window goes up. Let me see if the, the seatbelt thing will come on. Okay, the seatbelt, that thing goes off like no other, and it will not cut off until you until you put on, put on your seatbelt. See? That thing will dang, dang, dang the whole entire time until you're putting your seatbelt. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Let's see, Let's see if I got sport mode. Oh, it has a sport mode as a normal. Sports and sports plus. See what this baby can do today. What? Why that car had to pull up right when I was about to pull out? Nice little pull to it. Like I said, the, the X, the X6M that I test drove um, last week that I wasn't able to film due to um, you know rules restrictions and um, per company policies, it get up it get up a little bit faster than this though. And these automatically they they shift like a um, stick. It shifts like a manual, and I do not like that. Uh, when you driving it, that's just the way it is. But I mean, if you're worrying about the uh, about the, uh, the the feeling of the um the, the vehicle, like how does it drive and all that, it, it drives pretty smooth. But like I said, as far as like um, transmission wise, um, I, I'm I'm not fond of the um, the manual feeling, the automatic. I, I just don't care for that. But. Other than that, it does drive pretty well. Um, you can't really feel like the little bumps and stuff like that inside the uh, um, inside of the uh, the cockpit. So yeah, guys. Um, like I said, just um, drop some comments down below and let me know if y'all like this this bad boy right here. And like I said, I'm gonna try to get more more vehicles more vehicles um recorded whatever 
Cause right, like as of right now, I have like more homes than vehicles, but I'm gonna definitely get more vehicles recorded. But like I said, guys, drop some comments down below. Let me know what y'all think about it. Like, comment, share, subscribe to Gilly. Out.